Hey guys, Jules here. Do you like my little tights top? I made it for a video, so check it out. There's the card. <laughs> Welcome to Nylon's Rock. Today I'm going to talk about a little site called OnlyFans. Now this video is for both the creators and the consumers of this content. So uh, let's get right to it. Yes, it's another mojito. Grab your drink. Don't forget to subscribe, check out all my other pages down below. And if you're interested in being a content creator on OnlyFans, check out my referral link. So I have just a few things to talk about when it comes to OnlyFans. First of all, what is OnlyFans? Well, OnlyFans is a site for creators, whether you're a yoga instructor, a chef, or a spicy content creator, you get to go to this place and that's where all your fans get to meet you, chat with you, get to know you, pretty much have extra access to you that nobody else does. Just like being a celebrity, people are very attracted to knowing about their lives, what products they use, what do they eat, and the extra spicy stuff too. This is a site that is a fan site. This is where people are going to want to get to know you better. So if you're thinking about starting a fan site or you're thinking about signing up to view the content, either way, this video is for you. So the first thing you need to know about OnlyFans is that there's an array of people that have pages on there. You can utilize this page in order to create extra income. Being a content creator is not all rainbows and unicorns. I'll tell you that, like you have to work hard. Content creators that are extremely successful and even those that aren't are working their asses off. It's not like posting a picture and everything happens. There's so much that's involved. It starts at creating a piece of content. So figuring out what you want to do and how you're going to do it, setting everything up, getting ready, filming, editing, scheduling, social media presence, email lists, chatting and messaging with people and all the other things that you have to offer. So don't ever go into this as a creator as like, this is an easy way to make money because you are going to be working 80 hours a week just to avoid the 40 at your job right now. So I wanted just to say, if you're thinking of becoming a creator, you need to really sit down and think about, is this what I wanna do? Because anything that you post on the internet is on the internet and it's on there forever. Even if you delete it, doesn't mean it hasn't been screenshotted or recorded and is going to just pop up somewhere else. So depending on what kind of content that you're creating, you wanna make sure that you feel comfortable and are okay with people finding out and your content being leaked on the internet. Yes. And if you're consuming this content, I suggest that you be patient with a lot of these creators because many of them do have a full-time job and it's really just something that they do on their side. So know that posts can be scheduled. So just because you see a post come up does not mean that that creator has just posted it. It has been scheduled most times. Also know that any messages that are filtered with tips come at the top of the messaging. So if you're generating a bunch of tippers that continuously tip, their messages are going to be priority, which in, I believe, any business is fair because regardless of whether you own a salon or a fitness studio, you are going to nurture your best customers. That is literally business 101, right? Nurture your best customers your highest spenders. And that doesn't mean that your highest spenders are gonna be the easiest people. Most times they are, but sometimes they're not. I love mojitos. As a creator, you're going to be going onto all the social medias that you can possibly think of and that possibly work for you. For me, it's Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. Those are my three main. 
Then I'm meddling with Reddit as well as kind of working through Facebook a little bit too. But I really focus on those three, TikTok, YouTube, and Instagram. Those seem to be like a really great funnel to get my fans towards my ultimate goal. And that's for them to get to know me. That's for them to spend time with me. That's for them to see parts of my life that nobody else gets to see. Trust me, nobody else gets to see it. <laughs> so think about it as you're bringing people from TikTok and YouTube towards your Instagram. And from Instagram, that is where you're going to convert people to your OnlyFans. You can choose a free OnlyFans or a paid OnlyFans. For the consumers out there who are not quite sure what that means, a free page you do not pay for at all. There are a lot of limitations on the feed. You have to make sure that you follow the terms and conditions or they will shut your stuff down. They will. So you're going to see a lot of the action in the DMs and yes, you are going to pay for it. Like this is someone's time, energy, image, mental health that is on the line getting you what you need. So make sure that you appreciate it and all that jazz. Now the majority of OnlyFans creators do start up and expect it all just to like come falling into their laps and that's when a lot of the creators do tend to stop posting they're just not motivated anymore and so as a consumer you have to understand that too because if you have a mindset as a creator coming in thinking oh great I'm going to offer all these things for my fans and then um, the money just is not coming in it's a it can be a problem and it can be very discouraging so not to say that anything should come easy in life, but when you're putting yourself out there as an OnlyFans creator, I think that there are these very high expectations of how it's going to be. So creators don't be fooled, but consumers make sure that you understand this as well and that you don't lash out at people who just cannot continue. Some of the things that have been really helpful for me building my OnlyFans is making sure that I engage in my comments and that I'm messaging everybody back because that is the entire point. I feel like OnlyFans is about people making connections and the people that you can connect with and have a good time with and be yourself with are the people that you're going to really appreciate and want to stay connected with so whether you're a consumer whether you're a creator finding those people that really work with your vibe is super important because we all want to have fun we all want to have fun and there's always bad experiences on these sites but you want to make sure that you're just treating people with respect both ways and um, have fun with it So for consumers of OnlyFans, you're going to run into something called PPV, which is pay-per-view, and that's just extra special stuff that your creator wants to send you in the messages. You um, have the option to buy. Most times the creators are not pushing it, so don't ever get upset if you're getting pay-per-view. This is the bread and butter. The bread and butter. So creators, make sure that you're sending out pay-per-views. Make sure that the quality content is top notch and make sure that you're following up with those that buy your content and try to make it an experience for both of you. You know, if you're selling stuff and you look completely miserable, guess what? No matter what business you're in, you're going to bomb. So making sure that you're having fun with whatever content that you're selling is perfect. Consumers, you're always going to go and look for the ladies that are offering the content that you want, right? Well, perfect. Which brings me to the point of having a great niche as a creator. We all know that the consumer knows what they want, so that's awesome. Sometimes they don't. Sometimes they discover things while they're on OnlyFans. Having a niche where you could really attract like-minded people to spend time with you is honestly the best way that you can manage an OnlyFans page. 
I'm into nylons, I'm into rock music, so I fuse a lot of that together so that I can really just enjoy my job because enjoying my job is super, super, super important to me. Job satisfaction is more important than anything that I would get paid for. So I really urge you as a creator to make sure that the niche that you choose is something that you're gonna be passionate about constantly something that you've always enjoyed, make it part of your OnlyFans. I've had a few of these. <laughs> Let's see, what else can I tell you about OnlyFans? I'm literally just taking this from the top of my head because I try to be a little bit more authentic every single time that I'm um, making a video. I feel like okay, how can I say this without sounding like a robot? And, you know, that means that I don't write things down. That means that I rarely look at my notes. I pretty much just talk from my head and this is what happens. So if you hate it, I don't care. Go and watch my video about how not to care about what others think right now. <laughs> so with OnlyFans, you have to market yourself. There is no explore page, so you can you can search models by just putting their name in, but a lot of the time that that's just not very easy. The way a consumer would find an OnlyFans model is usually by clicking her link, which might be a link tree that sends them to all of the pages that she's on, and her OF will be on there. Um, as a creator, yes, you want to make sure that your TikTok and YouTube is the biggest part of your funnel and that you're drawing people into your Instagram or Twitter so that they can find your OnlyFans page. That's where they'll be paying you a subscription fee that you can choose. And I would say everybody has a different price and that's fine. You know, I do not judge like Whatever your price is for what you want to do, that's your prerogative. Just make sure that you're not feeling bad about it afterwards. If you're posting stuff and you're feeling like you're giving away too much for the subscription price, raise the price. Sorry, but you got to do that. I know that there's a lot of consumers of OnlyFans watching this right now. Like, what would your charge be if you started OnlyFans and started doing some of the things that you're seeing on other creators' pages. Think about that. What would your charge be for a subscription fee? I know things are tight right now and the economy is like plummeting to its death, but there's still a place where you have to be comfortable with your subscription prices, your pay-per-view prices, your custom prices, all of that. Yes. Oh, and talking about OnlyFans, there's a new site that's coming out. Now, it hasn't launched just yet, but it is literally the future of creator pages. It's, it's, it's insane. You're going to see the metaverse. You're going to see NFTs. We've got like beauty filters for streaming. No chance of screenshots. That's gold. This of your content is going to be leaked. It's called Lemon Social and it literally looks like bomb. The marketing is like spectacular. I'm gonna drop down a few of their links down, my referral link if you're interested in becoming a creator, as well as my link if you're interested in consuming what I put out there. It always has to do with nylons. It has to do with a little rock and roll. I share some of my life and a whole bunch of other stuff. You're going to love it. When life gives you lemons, what do you do? You go to Lemon Social. And if you use my referral link for either OnlyFans or Lemon Social, I will give you some one-on-one -on -one mentorship to start you up. Sound like a plan? Those links are dropped down in the description below. Use them if you want extra tips to get ahead before everybody else. What do you think of the metaverse? I've been playing in the metaverse for the first time these days and it's actually really, really exciting. We'll talk about that in another video. Oh, another fun part about OnlyFans is that you can use audios and polls and campaigns to really engage with your fans, to really get to know them. I find that getting to know my fans is, it's pretty much the most enjoyable part of my job because 
I, I do work from home and I'm usually not around a lot of people all the time. So it's my time to really get to know people, get to know what people like about nylons, what they love about rock music, all of that stuff. So yeah, for sure, like get to know your fans. And it's also a great way to just send them extra stuff, gifts, send them gifts, talk with them, all that good stuff, because this is literally what a consumer is paying for. So this is what you need to deliver. From a consumer position, I feel like do not make promises that you cannot keep, okay? And I know that's so, so hard because you feel all motivated and you wanna just give everybody the world and then you realize that you spread yourself too thin. I would rather under promise and over deliver. I guess, right? So that's what I'm trying to do these days. Yeah, if you're a consumer and you want to check out my OnlyFans, please do. I have a free page and I have a paid page. Plus my Lemon Social, I have the same a free page and a paid page. Check out nylonsrock.com and that way you can see all my pages, all my socials, everything that I do. It's fun times. Don't forget to subscribe because if you like nylons, like these. Hi, moms. These are cute little nylons. I love them. Then um, you're going to like that page. A lot. Sign up. <laughs> you rock. Cheers.